I'm going to create a new step because I want to create a new column where I'm going to repeat the names as many times as the number of tickets. So I can go to Add Column, Custom Column, or from the formula bar, I click at the FX. I'm going to say after the equal, and say Table Add Column. Uh, of course, if I spell this correctly, I'm going to select this, open parentheses. It's going to ask me for a table, which is coming from my previous step, which is the table that I'm seeing right here, comma. What is the name of the new column? Let's say a final. Let's say final name for yeah, final, let's say. Uh, comma. Uh, from there, what is the column? What am I going to do inside of that column? What do I want to process inside of that column? So I need to provide that as a function. That For that reason, I provide the each word, which is a keyword for a function. And I'm going to say I want to repeat text, repeat. Open parentheses. What? text do I want to repeat? Well, the one that is coming from my column name. So I'm going to um, open a square bracket and say name. Keep in mind that you need to spell the name of the column the same way that the column is named. So if you have a capital and a space, a lowercase different than the name of that column, you are going to get an error. So the next uh, parameter is uh, I need to provide a count. The count will come from the column tickets. Those are the, the number of times that I want the name to be repeated. Go to the end, close parenthesis, enter. Now you can see that I have the names here repeated, but there is not a separation between every single name. So what I'm going to do here after name, I'm going to concatenate that with a pipe. So I'm going to provide the ampersand and then and inside um, the quotation marks, I'm going to provide that pipe and I'm going to press enter. Now I have a separation between, between every single name, right? Every single time that I see the name, it's going to be separated by that pipe. 